So recently I needed a low value resistor and I decided to try to use a pencil lead or think about, got me thinking about what the resistance of a graphite lead was. And so I stripped a pencil open and I've got it here on the bench and my ohmmeter fired up and I'm going to work my way down this one centimeter by centimeter and see what, I, what this thing, how this acts. So there's five, about five ohms and I'll get a two centimeters. It's uh, about six. Point two seems to depend a lot on how hard I can press onto the graphite. Now that I'm away from the scale, I can see I've got steady six there at four. At five, I got six point eight. At six, I got seven point five. Seven. 8.4. I'm able to press in pretty hard now that I'm away from the edge. 9.7 at 8. So at 9 centimeters, I've got 10.5. 10 centimeters. Got 11.7. 11 centimeters. 12.5, so it is fairly linear and predictable. And I'm going to run out of room here on 13. 13, I've got 14.4 uh, ohms. And so then I'm also going to check the lead in my Hercules graphite pencil. It's a lot larger diameter, and I'm wondering what the difference will be. I'm going to clamp on this and start here at one. Three. There's two. Three point one. Three. We're going down. I'm getting a. Let me go back to one again. I'll scratch it open here. There's 2.4. So two. Three. So it does make a difference when you can cut into it a little. Get a better connection, looks like. It is going up, but not very much. There's six. And seven, I'm going to run out here. So I'm guessing this larger diameter would be a uh, heavier weighted, uh, heavier wattage resistor. But anyway, that's a look at the graphite resistance versus distance.